mean, it, it had just happened. These three women from Maryland were atop the observatory at the World Trade Center when the terrorists struck. We saw everything. We saw people on stretchers. We saw white sheets. It's a little unnerving um, seeing it, but at the same time, having a strong faith, you, um, you just keep moving on and don't let them win. Rebounding from the horrific episode, visitors flocked to the cathedral. Despite concerns for personal safety, the churchgoers feel it is important to pray for the victims and injured. Devastating the world we're living in right now, but it won't prevent me to come here. I'll still be coming here. Cardinal Dolan labels the senseless violence as heinous. He insists it is now the time for everyone to work toward greater respect and understanding so that evil acts become a thing of the past. You bless them and make them holy. Cardinal Daniel DiNardo, the chief of the U.S. Bishops Conference, shares a similar sentiment about what he calls a horrendous act. The cardinal says to those victimized by the terrorists, the prayers of the bishops and of all the church are with you. In the pews of St. Patrick's, there are hopes. Let's pray for the world to get a hold of itself. Catholic like me, Muslim, doesn't matter for me. The important is that everybody may feel uh, in their home, safe, can have his own life, but um, I'm thinking about them for sure. At St. Patrick's Cathedral, Katie Angusser, Currents News.